In this video, I unbox the X-Tool 20 watt diode laser. But before we get into today's video, just want to share with you what the GGGG is for this month. Each month, Bob the Beholder picks some of my Patreon supporters to receive gratitude gifts. And for this month of February of 2023, we have a $50 credit towards Terrainify. They sell STLs of their terrain or printed versions, as well as completely painted and flocked versions. And if you haven't seen my video, go ahead and check that out here. We have two $25 credits from LV427. Also, there is a 20% off Gaming Geek code that you can use for your first purchase. We also have two $40 credits towards the Sunken Citadel Kickstarter that just recently ended. We have this printed and painted dice tower from Unchained Games with their Mountain City of Gunbar, as well as one pledge towards that campaign. We have this printed and painted blacksmith shop from Page 2 Adventure from Zykit's Kickstarter campaign, as well as two pledges. We also have a $50 physical pledge, as well as a $14 digital only pledge for Brave Sun Kickstarter that's happening right now. And finally, we have $100 going towards a crowdfunding campaign, which my Patreon supporters are currently voting upon. Use the link below to go to my Patreon page to find out more information. And it only takes a dollar to become a Patreon supporter and have a chance of being chosen by Bob the Beholder to win one of these gratitude gifts. So Xtool did reach out to me to do a review video and I accepted and I'm glad that they're sending this to me. Now this is going to be part one of two videos in this First video, I'm going to be unboxing and setting it up and seeing how quickly I can actually get it running. For the most part, these diode lasers are relatively easy to set up, way more easier than a 3D printer because there's less moving parts. And also, I want to quickly say that normally I do include these as gratitude gifts, but my guess is that I am going to be keeping the X tool, but we shall see once I'm able to build it out and make my test runs. My second video that I'm going to post later is um, all the different projects that I'm going to try on this tool and we'll be able to follow up and give you a full review about what I think about this laser. They also did include the rotary which I think is super cool. I, I haven't ever really um, lasered something on the rotary like cups or things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and try that as well and I think I'm assuming that these are risers for the frame so that it lifts it up high enough so that the rotary can go underneath there. But I'm going to go ahead and show you all of that. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing and see how quickly I can put it together. Looks like here are some manuals, I'm guessing. Oh, these are samples and things that I can etch and burn into, which is great. Now, originally when they reached out to me, they offered the 10 watt version of this, but I asked if they could send the 20 watt, which they agreed to, because I do want to do a comparison between the 10 and 20 watt, whether or not having twice as much wattage with the diode actually makes things uh, cut a lot more easily. Uh, looks like this is a nice, oh look at this. Yes, okay, okay, I was right. They still can't, this machine still can't cut metal, but it can engrave into metal. And maybe we'll do an experiment and see how that works. So this is really nice um, out of the lasers that I've received in the past, the diode lasers. This actually has the most um, documentation and some ideas about cutting things out. Well, this is talking about cutting acrylic. And here's uh, using the rotary, which um, I don't even know if I can go to Walmart and buy one of these and try it out or if I have to buy one that is specially coated. I'm not 100% sure. And then these are all the different kinds of materials. Maybe they have a catalog where you can order these. It looks like that's the case, but appreciate that. This is a thank you 
Oh, that's great. They have a QR code for any support needs that you have. And I did receive the golden red. So I don't know if they have different colored ones, I'm assuming. So maybe this just shows, um, instead of having like a model number or something like that, they do it by color. Not 100% sure, but there is a lot of documentation, which I appreciate because I have actually had trouble uh, with some of the lasers that they've sent me, not being able to get it to work and having no idea how to troubleshoot. So I am grateful for that. And here are more instructions. So great. A lot of good documentation. So in the box, we have first the laser unit, which is right here. L, that's a Pro L20, which is a 20 watt. And right off the bat, I noticed that it is a bigger unit and heavier than the 10 watts that I have worked with in the past. Makes sense that it, that would be the case. This is probably all of the screws and bits and these are protective glasses which I always recommend don't just stare at the laser um, and check this out a toolkit that they provide not only the allen wrench but a handle for the allen wrench here is a micro SD card and other bits that I'm sure we're going to be putting together. But this is super nice. I mean, right away, I can tell that the quality of X-Tool is very different than the other Chinese uh, lasers that I have received. And then here are some zip ties for cable management, I'm assuming. And then let's see all the pieces. These are, yes, the assembly should be relatively quick. Go ahead and pull these out. Yeah, these are pretty sturdy. We have a belt. I'm sure I'll need to tighten up that belt. Look at that. Wireless. Okay, this rod is protected. So very solid frame. As is typical with most of the other diode lasers, here's the power cord. I don't think there's anything else in here other than the power cord. So I think we're done with this box. So let's go ahead and put this together. Alright, so I was able to put everything together. Sorry I didn't show the whole process, but it was a little bit hard to position the camera. But overall, it took me about 40 minutes to put everything together. I wasn't rushing at all, just following the directions step by step. Everything was relatively clear on how to put this together. Again, these diode lasers are fairly easy uh, to put together because really it's just these four corners and then putting this um, on as well. So not, not very difficult at all. And now I'm just going to take it to the garage because you don't really want to burn anything indoors because of all the smoke and fumes. It's going to be awful. So I will take everything outside to the garage and start doing my tests there. So I was able to get it into Lightburn by downloading uh, one of the laser files off of the website and connected with the USB cord and got it up and running. And here is a test cut, so it did cut uh, this piece pretty easily. And now I'm uh, doing a test with the engraving. So I'm going to go ahead and do a number of other tests, but uh, stay tuned for part two of this video review after I make a number of other projects and see how it turns out. But it looks like it is working really well was super easy to get into Lightburn and get it working. Hit the like and subscribe button. 
Again, stay tuned. Use the link below to go to my Patreon page to get a chance to be chosen by Bob for one of the gratitude gifts. Otherwise, happy lasering. We'll see you next time.